incredibly unproductive and very much in a rut. And um, from what it looks like on Instagram, I feel like I'm not alone. Um, so if you are with me, let's just be in a rut together. I'm trying to drag myself out of it, kicking and screaming. Um, I was off for the last four days. It's my last day off. I thought I was going to get so much done and really what I did was I slept. And I guess that that's good because I needed to sleep, but um, I also had so many things I wanna do. My vlog from last week isn't even like edited. I'm just importing it now and it's optimizing all the files so I can start to edit. Um, so I'm gonna try to slog through as much of that as I can today. So that vlog is gonna be late. I'm gonna try to make this vlog not be late. But I don't really know how much I'm going to be able to vlog this week because I slept through and did nothing for most of the days that I had off. But um, we're gonna we're gonna go there. This is an exercise. This is like any exercise. Some days are good. Some days are bad. Some weeks are good. Some weeks are bad. Some vlogs I'm excited about. Some vlogs I don't even know what's happening. I don't even know if I wrapped up the last one. I may have to insert something that's like, ah, yeah, this is what happened. So, but, um, <clears throat> this week, what is this week? This week's a really quiet week. I have three days, I work Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Um, I'm sort of in a reading slump too, which is probably why some of my vlogging isn't happening, but I'm trying to get out of it. Um, I have to edit a paper for my boyfriend and um, I, one of my friends just sent me her novel to beta read. So all I really wanted to do is get it printed, but like, why is it like $150 to print like one copy of something bound? Um, because I'm an old lady and I do better reading things when I read them on paper. Um, but we're just gonna go through it. I'll do it on Google Drive. It's fine. I tried. It's just annoying. I wish there was like a simple cheap way to print things and if someone could ever find that and send that to me, that'd be great. Because I don't need it to be like high quality. I just need it to be like there, you know? So yeah, and I decided that I wanted to start getting into um, the habit of writing every day because I do have a few, I, I have a few like very roughly started uh, book ideas that need a lot of help, love and attention, but I just feel like I am not, I need to exercise my writing muscle because I'm not a good writer. And I'd like to, not be a bad writer. Um, so I went and I got myself this book, which if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen. Um, and it's a year of creative writing prompts. And they give you three, I didn't realize that they give you three prompts. I just thought it was gonna be, you know, 360 prompts. It's actually like, that was it. like, what's three times? Like, it's like 2000 prompts. Um, but there's a prompt, there's a five minute prompt, there's a midday prompt, and there's an evening prompt. I don't know how much I'm gonna get through every one of these, but I think what I can do every day, at least at a minimum, is do the five minute prompt. And so like, I'll read you what it says. The five minute prompt is composed of a single word. It is meant to get your imagination running. Don't overthink it, read the word, then write what comes to mind. Don't edit it, don't worry about it. Don't worry about being chaotic or incoherent, just write. So today was peaches and I, I wrote my thing about peaches and um, I don't know if that's something you guys want to see. I, I don't know if maybe I can turn this into like, blog where like every day I upload these things and you guys can see them um like my year in creative writing but um right now I'm just gonna write them in my little book um I bought, found this at home goods before you know the world shut down and I, I knew that there would be a time for it I thought it was really cute and I like that it like it's flexible and you can put the date on top I don't know I just thought it was nice I like I like a good notebook so right now I think I'm just gonna start with the five minute prompts um, until I feel like I'm kind of comfortable getting things out and then I may start adding in some of the midday prompts and the dinner prompts and stuff like that. And what's cool about this book actually is there are, um, you can just go by the prompts in the back. So you can do the morning five minute prompts and they have a whole list of it and you just go through all of those. They have all the other prompts broken down by genre. So if you want to try, if you're trying to exercise action and adventure or whatever it is, sci-fi, general fiction, horror, like they're all in the back. So I thought this was a really cool book. So I'm gonna check off peaches for the day. And we're gonna, we're gonna go from there. I don't know, somehow this turned into a very 
loose poem. I don't know. I really wanted to listen to that song. Do you know who wrote that song? Peaches. Are there any of you from the 90s? Do you remember this song, Peaches? Presidents of the United States of America. There's like early 2000s, late 90s, right there. Just so you know. I'll just read you the first couple lines. Moving to the country, gonna eat a lot of peaches. Moving to the country, gonna eat me a lot of peaches. I might be the only one who remembers that. Oh, it was released in 1995. Okay, so it really was the 90s. I'm an old lady, okay. Um, so in reading news, what the hell am I doing? I don't know. Let's see, let's wrap up last week. I, what did I even finish? I finished Gemini over the weekend. That made me really happy. I finished Stamped from the Beginning. That didn't make me happy, but that was a very, very good book. That made me angry. Um, I finished something else last week. Oh, that's right. I finished The Book Thief and A Well-Behaved Woman. I finished Stamped from the Beginning, and I finished Gemina, all before we were filming today. And I also DNF'd The Little Friend. I got about 250 pages through this, and if you saw my post on Instagram, you know that like I was very conflicted about this. And I decided that like, Right now, I don't want to waste any more time to this book. I have other books that I really want to be reading, and seeing as this is a huge book and I'm in a slump, I don't want to put myself more in a slump than like, I, might, I don't even think I'm in like a, a slump. It's like I'm in this very like roller coaster, like I'm high and low. Like the books I'm like, that's a lot of likes, Alyssa. The books I'm enjoying, I am enjoying, like knocking it out of the park. They are so good. The books that I'm not enjoying, I'm really not enjoying them. So, and I feel like I'm slogging and I feel like I've slogged through too many books this month and I don't like slogging through books. So, I'm gonna put this to the side. Maybe I'll read it, I don't know. Maybe I'll finish it. Like Donna Tar, if I have time this month, I might finish it just to get it done because Donna Tar is a very good writer. This is a very well-written story. The characters are well-written. The story, let me wrap this up. This is, these characters are very well-written. The story, I don't know what the hell the story is because I thought it was like this little girl who was gonna try to figure out why her brother got hanged, but like, that doesn't happen. It's, I'm halfway through and that hasn't, that, that God said once and I don't see that happening. So it's not like a mystery thriller. It doesn't, I don't, I don't know if this is supposed to be a commentary on the South. And if it is, like, it's not a very nice commentary on the South. I don't know who the little friend is. Like, I don't, so we're putting it to the side. Um, and then the only things I really have on the docket is I'm going to finish reading Steel Crow Saga, which I'm enjoying. As a book, it's really good. And then I started to read it and somebody sent me some tweets about the author and now I'm disappointed in this author. Um, so I don't know how much time I want to spend talking about this, but like there's so much good in this book. Um, especially when you're talking about like um, good rep for like non-binary characters, for um, transgenders, for uh, like, like fluid sexualities. Um, I don't know if I'm using any of these terms right. I'm just trying to really generalize it. But like basically they are Characters who do not specifically go heterosexual or homosexual. I don't know how they identify because they don't tell you, which is why I'm sort of genera generalizing here. She doesn't say that she's bisexual. We've got characters that are definitely, they've got a character that's definitely transgendered. Um, it's set in a very, in a very like Japanese Asian setting. I don't, it's like a made up world. But it's very like Asian culture based and it's good. Um, there's a lot that's going on here that's really good. And to see things from the author that are not good from him personally, it makes me sad because I want, this is something I want to hype up. This is something I want to plaster all over my Instagram and talk about a lot here. Um, but I don't feel like I can while the person is displaying problematic behaviors. Um, I can personally enjoy it and I can personally separate the artist 
from the art in most cases. Um, obviously, it's a case by case basis, but I don't know if everyone can do that, and I don't think it's right of me as a book reviewer, as a booktuber, as a bookstagrammer to make the assumption that everybody should and that everybody can and put that out there. So I'm just gonna leave it at I'm reading this, I'm enjoying it. Um, if I can find out more information about what the author exactly said, I can tell you, but it sounds like he's not a very nice person in general, like he's a little entitled, um, and that he said some sort of misogynistic racist things about black women. And I just, I'm not, I'm not there for that. Um, so this leaves me with my own quandary of do I get the next book when it comes out? I don't know. Um, but I will finish this and that's that. And I think this is probably the only time I'm, I'm going to try to make this the only time I talk about this is right now so that there's full disclosure that I am reading this. Um, and if something changes and I, I will let you know because I'm not a huge fan of the sort of like militant c cancel culture. Like I feel like we should cancel people, yes. Like discount bookseller who must not be named should be canceled. Um, they show no remorse, no attempts to grow. They seems like they were very calculating and, and knowing in what they were doing. They were not somebody that like made a mistake, right? And they also pay people to do their publicity. They pay people to read the room and make the right decisions. And the people they paid I don't know what they said to management, but somewhere in that those discussions, they made some really shitty decisions and very um, non-inclusive decisions, which are disgusting to me. Um, when we talk about human beings who are particularly maybe younger and immature, or maybe have lived a life where they haven't had to deal with too much, or maybe they haven't had their ass handed to them enough. If you've ever had an older sibling, your older sibling kept you in check, right? I feel like perhaps this author hasn't had uh, a world group, a group of people, a societal group around them that's been like, no, that's not appropriate, um, to help shape better decisions. So perhaps they will change and I will have a different opinion. Um, Perhaps they will not. So, I feel like, for me, cancel culture, I have to take every case case by case because I would rather pause than just flat out cancel people. And then, after a period of pausing, I either uncancel you or cancel you. So, this author is on a pause. I started the book when this all started, so I'm not gonna finish it because I am I'm not gonna stop reading it because I did do enjoy it but I, I don't know if I'll continue and I will keep an eye on this because it disappoints me. I just wish authors would stop being problematic so I stop having to have an emotional dilemma every time I pick up a book nowadays but it's also okay not to tweet everything just just in case anybody was wondering you, you, people don't need to tweet every thought that comes in their head ever it's unnecessary. Anyway, that's my old lady rant for you. And then the other thing I was gonna read is Queens of Venice Lear. And please, please, Lord, please don't let there be any Tessa Grattan drama. And if there is, I, I almost don't want to know about it because soon I'm not gonna be able to read anything without having to put a disclaimer on it. But anyway, I'm supposed to finally read this with my friends. And yeah, it just looked like a nice like fantasy book. And then the other thing I, I, I really want to read, which I'll probably start today, and it's from Tor. Like, let's be honest, I freaking love, like, everything I read from Tor, I love it. Like, Tor, do you need a hype woman? I will be your hype woman, because every time I pick up a book from you, I'm like, I love it. I love it. I don't know why. Everything you publish is, like, amazing. So, um, yeah, the other thing I'm going to read is, when I finish the book I'm not talking about, is, um, I want to read War, which was... I don't know if you guys remember, but a few weeks ago we read um, this smutty book called Pestilence, and it's kind of like everything I love in romance. It's over the top, it's crazy, it's smutty, it's melodramatic, and 
I feel like it's what I need to snap me out of the rut. Because I know that I will start it and I will be like sort of disinterested and then like the romance will start and like the saucy banter will start and I will be there like in it. And that's what I need right now. So I'm gonna start my day. I'm gonna try to do some editing. I'm going to, it's still optimizing my files. Um, I'm gonna finish the book we're not talking about so I can get it done. Um, and then we'll never talk about it again. And then I think I'm gonna start my smut because I need smut and I need to like fold laundry and make food for the week and do all the things I should have been doing for the last four days but I didn't do because I was exhausted. I bet you my neighbors think I'm really weird because I sit at a table and talk to a camera. What do you guys think? Because, let me show you. And don't mind my half dead plants, I'm trying to make them not dead. But like, so I sit here in front of these big windows with no curtains because I've never bothered to put curtains on them. Maybe I should. Um, and they drive by and you can see right in my house and like sometimes they wave. And I just feel like they think I'm insane. The worst is when we're doing this and the UPS guy or something walks by the window. He must legit think I'm crazy based on the amount of things that get delivered to me, including like crates of wine. He must think I'm like some crazy Grey Gardens recluse. That movie fucked me up, by the way. I cried hysterically because I thought that would become me and my mom. Did anybody else watch that and fear that that would be their, them and their mom one day? And then did you do everything you could to not live your life like that and have that be the end of the story? Just me? I I'm the only one who had this fear that I would end up great gardenings with my mom. Okay. I'm gonna drink my coffee. I'm gonna stop rambling. Why do I keep rambling? Oh, cause I haven't talked to you guys in five days. So now I'm like, let's talk about everything. All right, goodbye. Uh, I swear I have moved, um, but I finished the book we're not gonna talk about and I really liked it. So kind of a bummer. It'd be better if I hated it, but it was good. It is what it is. I, I, I can't control human beings. Um, but I got some book mail. Um, so last week we were doing the whole like blackout the bestsellers list and I ordered, brain broke. I ordered this, I ordered Hood Feminism and this just arrived today and I'm really excited about this. I ordered, I don't know why my brain is, but Dread Nation, which came the other day yesterday and then i also ordered a book that's coming a little later whose name i can't remember because it's long and something about warmth and one of my co-workers actually was raving about how much she loved it so i mean it was really hard the warmth of other suns um is the other book that i ordered that should be here on thursday so those three books will be here there were so many more that i wanted to order but I just don't have money right now and I know that I will buy them so I don't feel bad um, I mean I do feel bad because I really want them but like I don't feel bad like it was just really hard to narrow it down to three because I could really only afford three books and I did three books I started editing last week's vlog I've gotten it down from like over three hours of footage to uh, like an hour and 20 and it's gonna keep shrinking um, I hope there's a logical conclusion to it. If there isn't, I don't know. I might leave it as a cliffhanger and we might just call it like, you know, artistic license or I don't know. But my Sips By came. It's that time of the month. So I don't know if anybody else has Sips By, but I love Sips By. Um, you get four teas and you get four of each of those teas and you fill out like a little tea profile, yada, yada, yada. They send you teas that you, that you meet your profile and they're always different for the most part. Um, and I'm excited. So let's see what I got this month. So I've got my June tea and they tell you what every tea is and how to steep it on the back. And so my teas for the month, I have right here on top, I have something called energy tea, which I always need that as evidenced by the fact that I spent three days sleeping. Like I'm not even joking. Like I spent Saturday and Sunday basically sleeping. I, I, I am my dogs. I woke up to eat, pee, and like generally like, I don't know, move. And then I would go back to bed. Um, but anyway, so this energy tree is green tea. It's got ginseng, tangerine, 
some sort of bark I can't pronounce. Corn, mint, lemon, lavender. I, I mean, I'm down for it. I think those sound cool. Um, they give you little baggies for the loose leaf tea. I never really use them. Um, oh, this looks good. Oh, they didn't give me one of my teas. You were doing so well, Sipspy. So well. And my tea is missing. Well, that's okay. People make mistakes. We're going to message them and see what they say. Anyway, so the next thing that's in here is this sweet cinnamon chai tea, which I do love sweet cinnamon tea. There's that hot sweet cinnamon thing that's from Harney and Sons, which name I can't remember, but I'll put a picture somewhere so you know what it is. I love that tea. It's like naturally very sweet. I love it. This sounds like it's gonna be good. I love chai tea. I'm all for all of this. We're gonna try this. Now, the last tea that I have in here is this red berry cooler. I wrote Rue Boys, I can't say it, tea. And I'm all for this. I really wanna make a big patch Patcher? Patcher, pitcher of um, iced tea. So we're gonna do that, but let's see. It's got elderberry, rose hips, hibiscus. I love hibiscus. Cranberry. Uh, I need an afternoon pick-me-up on a hot day. Refreshing organic red berry cooler satisfies the sweet tooth and is naturally caffeine-free. Treat yourself to an ice cold glass. So my little ninja makes iced tea, so we're gonna have to try that for this because this just sounds really good. We might make that. I guess it's okay that they're missing a tea because the tea that's missing, I don't know if I care about it, but maybe I would love it because I've never heard of it. It's called Marfa Dark Rose Yao Pan. I don't know what a Yao Pan is, but it's supposed to be naturally sweet and smooth and a dark roast. Uh, all right, I guess we're gonna have to email them and see what they say. Bummer. Bummer, that's such a bummer. They've never screwed up a box, so like, it's okay. But like, I'm also really sad. I've already had one cup of tea today, so I don't know how I'm gonna go with tea. But anyway, that's my check-in. Um, I'm also listening to The Extraordinaries which I started when I was mowing the lawn the other day, randomly, and it's really good. I kind of like it. It gives me like sort of carry on, um, fangirly vibes, um, which I like. Um, but I'm really early into it. It's a short book, but I'm really enjoying it. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to editing um, for a little bit. It's 2.30 now. And then I'm gonna edit for a little bit. I'm gonna find myself, myself. I'm gonna find myself some food, and then I'm gonna watch, watch. I'm gonna read War for a little bit because I'm ready for my smut. So let's edit. So I guess it looks like I haven't moved all day, but I swear I have. I have taken the dogs out multiple times. I have edited this video, um, last week's vlog, so that I can get it up, so that I'm not completely behind. It is exporting and attempting to upload to YouTube, which is a an endeavor that stresses me out every time, but hopefully if this works and I can get it up on YouTube, it can go up sometime tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Um, I think the dogs are done for the night with their needs, I hope. And I'm going to try to find, I know that I downloaded War, um, onto, I did, onto my Kindle. So we need, we need to, we need to read this. Um, I don't know if you know what this is, but this is the second in a series by Laura Thalas, Thalassa, Thalas? Thalassa? I don't know how to say her last name. But anyway, I don't know if you can see this, but this lovely gentleman, is one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse and there's going to be a lady who has sex with him. Um, this is war. We already met pestilence. 
I think you see where this is going. This is like the ultimate bad boy. There are some underlying tones of like humanity and and how it's not totally flawed and that you know there's good left in the world even though there's evil yada 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 but you know why I'm here? The smut. So I'm here for the smut. I finished the book we're not going to talk about it anymore. I'm going to read some smut. That's what I'm going to do for the rest of my day. I don't need to check in with you on that. I'm reading smut. Let me be. I've had one watermelon beer because it's summer and I felt like compelled to drink it. I'm good. I don't need another one. Um, I have not had any dinner. I don't even think I've had a proper meal today. So that's interesting. I don't really know what's happening with my life. I stopped being able to adult. So let's read some smut. Let's have sex with the four horsemen of the apocalypse. I think it's time. Hemi might be one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. That's a possibility. Anyway, it is like quarter to six at night. I work tomorrow. I, I just, I'm done. I want to read my smut and relax and enjoy the last few hours of me being a regular human who doesn't have to nurse and wear things on her face all the time and breathe unimpeded and all that fun stuff. So, I'm gonna go do that. And I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? I'll see you before work tomorrow. I don't know what we're gonna talk about tomorrow because, you know, maybe we'll talk about smut. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. What is my life? Anyway, cheers. Bye. I don't really know if this is in shot or not, but I finished my writing prompt for the day. Um, today's prompt was Thunder. Um, I like this one. I know it's only been two days. I know it's only been two days, but I'm enjoying this little exercise. It's kind of cathartic to get stuff out, and I remember why when I was a teenager I used to write all kinds of like moody poems. Um, and I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it's a really interesting exercise thing, and it would be fun to share some of these things with you. Maybe I'll do that. I don't really know. Um, yeah, it is Wednesday morning. I have to go to work today, so I'm having my coffee. I posted last week's vlog last night, really late, but I got up, so I can only have to worry about this week's vlog. And I think I have an unboxing I want to edit and stick up there as filler. But yeah, so I'm gonna hang out with the puppers for a little bit. It is 8:02. Um, I'm gonna read some more of War, Smutty, and Deliciously Ridiculous. And it is what I need to get me out of this slump. And then I'll go back to like more serious stuff. But yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy Smut. Smut has always been there to get me through hard times. So, I will always have a soft spot for smut. Yeah, I also have to make sure that the children are eating because it looks like this boy is coming to bother me instead of coming to eat. Going to eat him. Emmy is very codependent, so it makes some things difficult. Anyway. Yeah, it's a lovely morning. Last night they called me at like 8. 30 to tell me that we don't have that many cases today, so do I want to not come to work? Though I don't want to go to work, I, I really do need to make my hours because, you know, life doesn't pay for itself, so I'm going to go in for as long as I'm going to go in. Plus, the landscape can change so rapidly that I don't trust that. 
so I could have gotten woken up at like 7 o'clock this morning with a phone call saying, oh no, you have to come in. So, or I could have been like well entrenched into my day and they could have roused me out of my day. I'd rather go in, leave early, and just be on call for the rest of the day. That's a lot of rambling. Anyway, cheers. Hopefully it's a good day. Yeah, I don't know if I have plans for today. I'm gonna listen to more reading plans. Or, ink heart. Yeah, those are the only two books I have going, War and Inkheart. I can definitely get through those two books, chunks of them today, especially if I don't have patience. I could just, and I have them all in audiobook, I could just listen to them. It's going to be an interesting day. I'll update you when I get back. Peace out. Hello, I'm home. I don't know what the lighting is like right now, but we're just, we just go with it. It's late. So... Um, my kitchen's still a mess because I'm lazy. And uh, welcome. This is my evening update. It is 10 something at night. I don't know. 10.30? The dog's drinking, so it's loud. So it's 10.30 at night and um, I'm home. And I'm on call the rest of the night. I am tired. I'm going to finish listening. No. I'm going to finish reading War. Um, I have not much left of it. I, I enjoy it. I don't know, I feel like I like pestilence a little bit more. I don't know. Um, but yeah, yes, to, ugh, so tired. Today wasn't so bad. Um, we didn't have that many patients. I mean, I still home like pretty much on time. So got home a little bit early. It's not like it was crazy, but um, it was pretty good. Tomorrow isn't looking, awful. Hopefully I don't get called out overnight. Um, yeah, and I came home to a little bit of book mail. So my copy of the anti-virginity pack arrived today. Um, it, this is, I don't know if you know Katie, but she is another, she is a, a YouTuber, a booktuber, and um, she's a writer and she's a beta reader and I, I don't know, I just enjoy watching her vlogs. Her cats are really cute and I wanted to support her. This is her newest book. I think she has another one that's available. That's like a fantasy horror thing that might have zombies. I don't know. But this, I just, this is the newest one and I wanted to support her. So I got a copy. It came out this week and I'm excited. I like supporting it smaller um, authors and stuff. Um, and hopefully it's really good. So basically, uh, it says, Preacher's daughters aren't supposed to be atheists. I'll read you the first blurb. They're also not supposed to make packs to lose their virginity by the end of the year. But high school senior Meredith Beaumont is sick of letting other people tell her who to be. So, I don't know. I feel like it's, hopefully it's interesting. It feels like it's going to be like gritty and like, I kind of like, I'm like down for it. So we're going to read this and we're going to find out if we like it. I don't know what I'm saying anymore because I'm very tired. So the blueberry's going to go to bed. I'm going to find something to drink because I'm thirsty. Like water drink, not like drink drink because I can't drink drink. But tomorrow night I can drink drink. I don't know what this vlog is. It's another day. It's another vlog where I don't know what's happening. But maybe... We can do something fun on Friday when I'm off. We shall see. Anyway, okay. Um, oh, oh, no, I do, I know I do have something else I wanted to say. Um, I have been listening to The Extraordinaries. I've been talking about it all over my social media because I love this audiobook. The, I got it as an ALC from Librio FM, Libro FM, Libro. I'm trying to add like an extra vowel in there and I don't think there is one. Um, I got it for as my a one of my ALCs for the month from them because I'm an influencer for them. And it is so good. It is this whole like kind of coming of age, LGBTQ like slash superhero like story. And it is so good. And I hope that there are on, if you look on Amazon, it comes out in July. If you look on Amazon, it's like the extraordinaries. And then it says, parent, 
one. So I'm hoping that there are multiples of this because I really love it. Like the audiobook is phenomenal. Like, I don't know, it just, it's kind of cheesy and corny in all of the best ways. And it keeps making me giggle. And like, our main character is just anxious and all over the place and I love him and it's so good. Um, but it comes out in July, I think the 17th, 14th or 17th, something like that. And I just, I, I feel like I'm gonna need a hard copy of it because it's so stinking good. That's it. That's my update. Watch out for that book because y'all need it in your lives. Um, I'm now going to bed. Good night. to tell you because we just checked in like six hours ago. I don't know. I woke up. We walked the dogs. I'm having coffee. I'm gonna do my writing for the day. I finished war. Uh, I'm gonna finish the extraordinaries today listening to that. I have like an hour left of that. I might finish that on the way to work. It's just so cute. Um, and then I might start Get a Life of Chloe Brown today because I'm just in that kind of mood. I need light and happy. Um, too much of my stuff has been serious or like just long and boring and I need to lift up my spirits with some light reading. So yeah, so I'm gonna write for a bit. I'm gonna finish my coffee. I'm gonna hang out with the pups. And yeah, I guess that's it. Check back in. Tonight, if I have any updates, if anything occurs, I don't really know. My boyfriend's coming today, um, and I don't think he's leaving for like a week, so that's gonna get interesting. We're gonna vlog around him. But he knows I do this. I just feel awkward doing it in front of other people, so we shall see. I'll have to get over it, because if he moves in here, you know? Anyway, these are me problems. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a lovely, lovely week. Or lovely day, whatever day you're watching this. I'm gonna get brain cells and drink coffee and do all that stuff. Oh. Hi! Good evening, everybody. I am home from work. I'm off tomorrow and I'm not on call, so I have wine. And I came home to some packages, which I think are from HarperCollins which I think are my review books. Um, I'm really excited, so let's open them up. <gasps> yes, okay. So I got to choose um, four books that are coming out. I need to get the, uh, the dates, but I, I, need, I got to choose four books um, that are coming out soon. Um, and one of them I picked was this book, um, A Good Cry, which is a poetry book. And it sounded really, really good. I'm trying to talk quietly because I know that he's, he, my boyfriend's trying to sleep, so I don't want to wake him up. But it had, it just sounded very good. And I've recently gotten into um, listening to authors read their poetry. And I thought, I just want to read this. And it just sounded really good. I'm excited. Okay, so then I have this other package. What's in here? <gasps> Somebody I know is going to be really upset about this. So, I still have to read this series. I think I'm going to read it next month. I have the first one. I need to get the second one. And the third one is coming out in June. I got Empire of Gold. I'm so excited. So, if you haven't read City of Brass, I 
heard amazing things about it. I will be reading this series next month, I think. Um, and maybe we could do some reading vlogs around it. But this is the last book in the trilogy, I believe. And it comes out and I'm super excited. Oh, I can't wait to show Gabby that I got this. What I can't believe is that this is like a hard copy. This isn't even an arc. Like it's crazy. Like, thank you, Harper Collins. Thank you, William Morrow. Like, this is. Like, I feel like I've arrived. Um, and I can't remember what the other two books were that I asked that I requested. Um, they let me pick four books from a list, but that the third book, The Empire of Gold, is the thing I'm most excited about. And I cannot wait to start that. So, maybe that's. Maybe I scratch Queen's of Venice Lear and I just start sitting. Oh, I just. I'm so excited. Anyway, uh, I finish work, obviously, and I listened to a little bit of The Extraordinaries, but I like forgot I was going to listen to that on a drive to work, and I started listening to Get a Life, Chloe Brown. Because everyone's like, it's so good, and. The second one came out like Tuesday and I'm like, I didn't even register it because I just forget that this book exists. It's so good. Like, why did I not listen to people? What is wrong with me? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I don't even know if you can hear me because I'm whispering. I'm going to go show off my new book to my book friend, Gabby, because I know she's going to die when she sees it. And, um, Oh, yes, I'm going to have to post about it tomorrow. Oh, I'm so excited. Anyway, cheers. Have a great night, everybody. Good night. guys it is friday um it is now the evening i spent the morning mostly with a migraine so um you know it's like four something and i've got to quickly get dressed and ready to go to my boyfriend's cousin's house because it is her birthday so you're gonna talk to me while i put my makeup on no i'm not a beauty guru so this is, should be interesting i'm literally gonna slap makeup on my face while we're talking so um, yeah, so what's going on? Um, not much. I finished, um, Get a Life, Chloe Brown, and I thought it was really cute. It was, like, kind of naughty, like, I mean, like, I knew it was going to be, like, a romance, and there was going to be smut and stuff, but, like, the language was tray raunchy, so I was all about it. Um, and that's like really what I needed. Um, I still need to finish The Extraordinaries, um, which I can probably do tomorrow. I will really will listen to that one on the way to work. Um, but I'm going to probably read a little bit more of The Queens of Innis Lear, which I started briefly before we had lunch, but my head was hurting too much for me to like read properly. Um, so, I don't know, it, it's okay so far, but it's hard to tell because it's only been like 20 pages. Anyway, so like these are just, in case anybody gives a shit, just ColourPop, pretty fresh tinted moisturizer because I don't care. I just don't want to look crazy. Uh, pretty much everything is ColourPop because my friend Emma recommended it to me because I wanted stuff that was like easy to put on and not heavy but would basically cover up stuff, like even me out. So this is just the same stuff in concealer form. So I got that and it's been working really well for me and I've really been liking it. Um, I mix two colors of the moisturizer and depending on how much sun I've gotten, I will change it. I think I have light 
8N and medium 10N, so I stay in the neutrals because I have no idea what my undertones are. And again, I'm not a boob guru. I'm just a lady who's trying to not look as old as she is. Um, so yeah. So that's what's been going on. Tomorrow I work, and I think this is another week where my vlog is boring. Um, I can't help it. Um, I got two more books from... William Morrow, uh, Harper Collins. Today I got, there's a D.L. Hughley book that's out um, about race in America and um, basically like listen up white folks, um, which I thought would be humorous and informative, um, which is sometimes what you need because like Stan from the beginning was like so heavy. Um, it would be nice to have a nice balance with something that's not quite as heavy. This is just um, the blush sticks and a stipple blush, a stipple blush, a stipple, blush, a stipple brush mouth, which I find is the easiest way to put that on. Um, welcome to my beauty tutorial. It's useless. What else happened? Um, oh, I got this other book. I can't remember the name of it. It's like nine lights, nine something. And it's about, I'm not really sure what it's about. It sounds like it's about like a sci-fi mystery thing, maybe with like alien abduction? I don't know. It sounded interesting when I read the blurb that they sent me. And I'll be honest with you, the only thing I really wanted in that whole bunch was the third book in City of Brass so that I can just binge that series next month. And it came and I can't believe it and I'm still shocked by it. But let's back up to Stan from the beginning. So, um, I wonder if this will be resolved by the time this goes up, but, so I am, um, on Juneteenth, I put up a post, and my post was about Stanford from the, the beginning, because I thought that that was appropriate, and I had just finished it, and all that stuff. We talked about that in the last book. And then I realized, I promote posts on Instagram every so often, I pay Facebook, essentially, to promote my posts, just to see if I can get my stuff out to a greater reach of people, you know, like you do. And so I thought, you know what, what a great post to like push because there's a good message in there. So I put it in and they usually take 24 hours to approve your post. And they rejected my promotion because apparently um, it's too political and may affect an election. I'm like, it's too political. My post is celebrating the end of slavery and what I learned reading a book and how it changed my like, worldview. And somehow that uh, Facebook couldn't get behind. So I sent a little note off and I obviously challenged it. And that was Wednesday, it's now Friday. I've heard nothing. Um, but I still haven't heard anything by tomorrow. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna put it up on my Twitter account and see what other people have to say because I think it's ridiculous that I can't promote a post about this book because I use the word politician, not specific politician, just the word politician. I talk about how politicians in general over years, centuries, 400 years, have made decisions to keep black people down. And that apparently pissed off Facebook, which makes me wonder, where do, where do you side Facebook? So I have a feeling this is gonna go to Twitterverse and we'll see what happens, but I'm a little, I'm a little upset actually. I've been sharing this with my uh, friends in my book chat and like I'm like like what the what the hell I'm not very good at makeup did we say that um like like what the hell so I'll keep y'all posted on that drama but like I don't know I just felt like it was a good post to promote because there was a good message in there I don't just want to promote like nonsense you know I want to promote if I'm gonna pay, I wanna to pay to get like a good message out there. 
And I think that that's a good message. And I don't think it's political in the sense that it's inciting anything. But I think it's saying educate yourself. I don't know. So yeah. That's what it's doing. I'm gonna do my hair. That's it. So I'm dressed. Um, yeah. I'm ready to go. I don't have my regular camera up here, so we're just gonna go with this. Ignore all the mess behind me. Um, I haven't cleaned. Unless I've been getting ready. Anyway, um, I will keep you guys posted on Stamp from the Beginning and everything that's happening with that. Um, who knows it's gonna come of it. I might not. By the time I post this, it may be on Twitter. By the time I, I post this, maybe they'll approve it and they'll I actually read it, but I feel like it's ridiculous that they are like acting like the word politician and the discussion of like 400 years of history is somehow political. Like, I mean, it's political, but like, I'm not specifically saying anything. I'm talking about my own experience, the things I've learned that should be something that gets shared. And I think that they're suppressing a voice and I don't like that. Um, so I think they're suppressing it because they don't like material and I don't like material because it's racial my guess um but anyway i'm gonna get going uh i think i have to go get like flowers and stuff and like a whole thing i need to find earrings that's it so i don't think i'm gonna update any more tonight just because i will probably be home very late and i got work in the morning but we'll talk in the morning and yeah so like I, I, i've got a dress on i mostly wear scrubs so this is wait i don't know what to do with my hair because my hair looks like shit it needs a haircut it needs to be dyed it needs everything and that's it so peace out i will talk to you guys in the morning all right goodbye It is Saturday. Happy Saturday. And we are coming to the end of another vlog. Um, I have been doing this all week since Tuesday, right? We started on Tuesday when I started this vlog. It's five minutes of writing. And it has been really interesting and we're gonna keep going forward. I've found that like a lot of things are pouring out and they're probably not very good. Um, stylistically and in terms of actual writing but in terms of like psychological exercise in terms of like uh, a cathartic release it has been so wonderful I remember now why when I was an angsty teenager I turned to writing bad poetry one day I'll find my bad poetry book and I'll bring it down I had several of them only one survives and it's not totally full um, I had another one I lost the whole book and I remember being devastating so there was a poem in there that I really cared for. I wish I could find it because I'd just like to see how good or bad that poem was that I cared for. Anyway, so this is my only update that I'm going to have for today. So I thought that I would grab my coffee. My bookish box came. We're going to unbox it. And this is the end of this vlog. Hopefully he just doesn't come out down and interrupt us. He will come back and interrupt us. He's sleeping. I didn't know what it was, so I opened it a little bit. But I only peeked inside to see just what it was. So. I don't know what month this is anymore, but this is the month we've been waiting for. Because this is the Court of Seasons. Put that there. That's my um, spoiler. So we have... <gasps> Not working. Hold on. That's Reese and Farah. I'm actually gonna have to frame this. This is so cool. And I have this really cool bookmark. What is this bookmark? No, this is all of Court Thrones and Roses. So that is. Oh. Okay. Look at this thing, it's so cool. 
face is going to be so jealous. I can't microwave this one yet. It's an iridescent Valaris mug. I don't need more mugs, but this one's beautiful. I think this is going to be like tarot cards. So I think that's Lucian. This has to be Lucian. And this is Tamlin? Tell me which one. In the comments, tell me which one's which because I, I can't tell. This has to be Lucian because he's he's the autumn court, so he's all like autumn-y. And Lucian's all like summery and blonde. And we know who that is. And I'm just kind of glad that these are in like girly colors, so I'm not in like, just, like dark colors. Let's see. Oh, the candle's kind of melty. The summer court, and it smells. I don't know what this says. That's really pretty. And it's woodwick, of course. But like something leaked, like the oils inside leaked a little, so like. That's really weird. That's never happened. That's never happened before. So we got our package man. It says Cauldron Blast and I love it. I can't wait to put it on my bag. Hopefully. Look at this. Isn't that not adorable? I love it. I think I got some hints from Dustin Pages recently and they were really pretty. And I love that one. The wearable necklace thing is in a rose. Hopefully you can see that. And I do wear these like all the time, these little necklaces recently. But our shirt. We've been waiting so long for this. I feel like we talked about this in like February. So I don't even know what box this is. This is May now? Are we in May? Did I get the right size this time? I still have a medium. What is wrong with me? I thought I made this a large. To the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered. Oh, I love it. That is so pretty. There's a tapestry. I don't have any tapestries. Oh look. All right, so it's a it's a map of Prithian. <gasps> didn't come in its little book of sleeves, so I can see what it is. No one comes in its little sleeve. That's okay. We're dealing with COVID, so it's really pretty though. And it's called Season of the Storm. And it's by L. Cosman. Cosman? Original cover somewhere in there. Oh, Lord help me. There you go. Original cover. Season of the Storm. And it says, uh, One cold crisp night, Jack Summers was faced with that choice. Live forever according to the ancient magical rules. Gaia or die. Jack chose to live, and in exchange, he became a winter. Like the other seasons, each year, Jack must hunt and kill the one before him. Gaia's rules are pretty straightforward. Winter kills autumn, autumn kills summer, summer kills spring, and spring kills winter. Which means Jack kills Amber, Amber kills Julio, uh, Julio kills Fleur and Fleur kills Jack. They die, they train, they hunt. But when Jack and Fleur, winter and spring, fall for each other against all odds, the true brutality of their internal lives becomes all too personal and all too painful, and Fleur is the one on the brink of being crushed forever unless they can come up with a plan to stop the cycle. When the four seasons unite to risking immortality for a chance at love, to reclaim their free will, their cross-country escape brings them to a place where they must defend each other against the creator who seeks to destroy them all. Do you know what this sounds like? This sounds like... The Sisters Grimm? but with like multiple genders. So, I don't know, I like that one. This could be really interesting. And the cover is gorgeous, this new one. So, that's my unboxing. That's my update for Saturday. 
Alright, hi guys. So, I don't really know if I really did a good ending of this vlog because Jesus was in the other room and I'm not used to people being around while I'm filming, so I think I was awkward. Um, so, let's just do another take in the car on the way home. On the way home? On the way to work. I'm not home yet. I want to be home. Um, so, I absolutely love that bookish box. I've been waiting for it for a while. I need to figure out what month it is. Whatever the month is, I will put it at the bottom. Um, but like everything was amazing. I'm absolutely in love with it. Like I can't wait to frame the art prints. The book sounds really good and I can't wait to actually compare it to the Sisters Grimm because it sounds like a very similar general, like very general setup in terms of like the seasons and this warring and this fighting and you've got to kill each other uh, and, and the little bit of love aspect, but it definitely is taking it from a different angle. So I can't wait to read that. It actually sounds very, very good. And then, um, it. I'm gonna go to work. I work today. I'm on call tonight and then I'm off tomorrow and then I work again on Monday. So, um, there's not gonna be a lot of updates. I'm reading Queens of Venice Lear. Um, I'm finishing The Extraordinaries and that's really it for now. At some point I have to finish Inkart before the end of the month. Those are really the three things that I'm focused on. And then next in July, the focus is actually City of Brass, City of Brass, City of Brass. So, I'm gonna go to work. I hope you all have, have had a lovely week and you're having a lovely day and um, everything is going a-okay with you. If you really like these vlogs or if you enjoy just watching me be a, real, a weirdo, um, like and subscribe and share with your friends and yeah, that's all. Um, I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.